popular but polarizing Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi is returning for a third consecutive term in office. It comes after claiming victory in a general election that was seen as a referendum on his decade in power. The 73 year old was among the top trends today as his win has made him the second leader in India to return as Prime Minister for a third straight term. Manisa Dandabalan joins us live with the latest Manisa. We know he won, but how did the vote shake out for Modi? Hey, Nicole, despite a lackluster performance from his party, leaving him without the landslide victory that he expected, Modi told a crowd at a party headquarters he will not shirk from pushing forward with his agenda. <laughs> Minister Narendra Modi is claiming victory for his coalition alliance and is promising India will see a new chapter of big decisions in his third term in office. Ke sabse bade. Modi saying this victory is a win for the world's largest democracy. Across India, voting took place over six weeks, with more than half a billion people casting their ballot. But the victory was a little bittersweet because despite predictions of another landslide win, Modi's Hindu nationalist BJP lost its majority for the first time in a decade, with the opposition India alliance performing better than expected. The uh, projections are that the National Democratic Alliance led by the ruling BJP will get about 292 seats, but of those seats, BJP's share is only 239, which is a sharp drop from the 309 seats it had uh, until now. This means the party will depend on support from its allies to come to power, something they didn't need in the past 10 years. It is difficult to predict exactly which parties will wind up as the BJP's allies. I mean, it's very unlikely that the Congress party is going to be able to form a government. It doesn't have enough seats. India Gadbandan ki meeting hai. Opposition leader Rahul Gandhi says the Opposition India Alliance meeting is tomorrow, where they will decide next moves. He pointed to the fact that there is a very fine line to make the majority, so they will do whatever the alliance decides. Supporters see Modi as a cult figure who's improved India's standing in the world and credit his pro-business policies with making the country's economy the world's fifth largest. But to his critics, he's an authoritarian responsible for eroding India's democracy and advancing divisive policies politics, some of which have harmed Muslims, who make up 14% of India's population. Experts speculate that Hindu nationalism and marginalization of religious minorities like Muslims and Christians was the main reason for the support the BJP received. The main reason they gave for planning to vote for the BJP was the construction of the Ram Temple in Ayodhya, where there had been a mosque. Uh, which the Hindu nationalists destroyed. As for losing the majority, the BJP could have lost some support because their economic performance hasn't been as great over the past five years. So it handled the uh, pandemic poorly. Uh, it has uh, uh, dismantled some of the pre-existing welfare schemes while introducing others. Uh, it has reduced um, uh, investment in agriculture that the largest section of the workforce still depend on. Experts speculate that since Modi and the BJP will have to depend more on its allies, that may restrain the party from pushing for Hindu majoritarianism as much and respect federalism more, but we'll have to wait and see.